I'll start with the uh, severe weather risk for today. Areas of southern Iowa cleaning up from tornado damage and confirmed deaths yesterday. Still a severe weather risk out there today. It shifted southeast from Dallas to areas of northern Arkansas, southern Missouri to low Cincinnati. Uh, best potential will be in that enhanced risk where numerous severe storms are possible. Risk of tornadoes again. Damaging winds along with isolated large hail. Isolated damaging winds with a marginal risk in northern New York State to areas of Vermont and New Hampshire. Watching for heavy rain, areas of the Ohio River Valley, some three inch plus totals are possible today just south of Louisville, Kentucky. Denver could get a half a foot of snow today. Be, be uh, weather aware out there in areas of the Intermountain West. Some record snow fell in nearby areas yesterday. Uh, elevated a critical wildfire threat for El Paso. A lot of winds in the Great Lakes. Detroit could get into some 65 mile per hour wind gusts today. Again, still some winter issues out there in areas of Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Area low pressure moving right over the Great Lakes. We're going to have some very strong winds out of that with a cold front stretching from basically Marquette all the way in the south central United States and arcing back north towards the Rocky Mountains. That will continue to progress eastward for the next couple of days. A lot of record heat in the eastern and southern United States. New York City at 70, Houston at 84. We are going to be well above average for temperatures out to the east ahead of the front and below normal temperatures behind the whole frontal system. Travel safely. Storms could get severe later today.